An opportunity for our community is at hand to restore an incredible lost piece of local history, Peoria's First War Memorial, that to our Civil War soldiers who gave their lives to preserve these United States of America. Although originally proposed to be placed at Springdale Cemetery, the county board decided to place it on the main street side of Peoria's second courthouse, which was built in 1835, probably because that location was more readily visible. This monument was the first in Illinois and, we believe, one of the earliest of its kind in the nation. This photo was taken on Dedication Day, October 11, 1866, and reproduced from a one and a half by three inch souvenir card, the only known picture from that day. The parades, bands, music, and orations were unprecedented, as Peoria area population was then less than 20,000. Trains arrived with passengers every hour during the two days ahead of the events. Illinois' famous general, John Blackjack Logan, founder of Memorial Day in 1868, addressed well over 30,000 people gathered to honor the 667 Peoria County soldier citizens whose names were engraved in marble. Peoria's own Colonel Ingersoll and other notables also delivered rousing speeches to the delight and approbation of the huge audience during the day-long ceremonies that continued well into the night. The monument was topped by a marble eagle taking flight, representing Old Abe, the nationally recognized screaming war eagle, who served as a mascot for battle units throughout the entire Civil War. The story of Old Abe is amazing in itself. Old Abe was tended by a squad of Union soldiers throughout the war. Amazingly, Old Abe was brought to Peoria for the dedication and was a huge celebrity, carrying on and flapping on its perch in response to the adulation of the huge crowd. After the war, the Case Implement Company, and much later, the Army's 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles, adopted Old Abe for their logos. Both organizations have said they want to support this project. The monument, affectionately called the Shaft, was relocated to the Jefferson Street side after the third courthouse was built in the 1870s. In all, it stood for 96 years on the courthouse square, until 1962, when it was taken down ahead of building the present courthouse, Peoria's fourth. The monument was carefully disassembled and the plan was to refurbish it since the marble pieces had been badly affected by air pollution. According to an eyewitness, the eagle broke apart when brought down. But the other pieces lay on the courthouse lawn for over a year and a half until they suddenly disappeared, despite several assurances that the monument would be saved. So began the mystery of what happened to the shaft. Early in the 1990s, pieces were first discovered in brush and trees along the railroad tracks near what is now Detwater Marina. The eagle was missing, of course, and two other pieces were determined to have been taken from the dump site. We do know that the 12-foot spire was cut up and taken, but the location of the cap on which the eagle stood is still unknown. Seven pieces are in hand and will be restored. These were recently stacked when clearing the area at the Detwater Marina. The shaft, cap, and Old Abe, the Screaming Eagle, will be replaced. The fully restored monument will be set in a new place of honor at Springdale Cemetery and rededicated just as it appeared on Dedication Day, 1866. This is especially fitting since Springdale was originally one of two possible intended sites for the monument, first suggested as early as March, 1862, when a lot there was donated to the county for Union soldier burials. Springdale Cemetery is proud to be on the National Register of Historic Places. That same distinction will be sought for the restored monument and documented as the first in Illinois. The restored monument will become the anchor point for a planned contemplation and sculpture garden on the grassy knoll just to the left inside the beautiful new gates and fence at the Springdale entrance on Prospect Road. We are asking you to partner with us to restore this very important piece of Peoria history to a place of fitting honor for Peoria County's Civil War soldiers who gave their lives for us and the undivided country that we enjoy today.